previously on the adventures of Conan. You worship Mitra? Yeah, well, just, you know, the big holidays. Oh, no! Oh! Ah! Oh. Ah! Uh. Our hero stands victorious over the usurper. He must continue the traveler's work of gathering thralls, but also must construct a prison to house the corpses of defeated foes. That's terrible. That's so bad. Hello, welcome back to Conan Exiles. So we dispatched Ben, the foul disciple of, I think, Set or Mitra. Mitra, that was it. Yeah, that false idol. Anyway, we've been going through the journey now. One of the things that we need to do next is gather a potion. And there we go. Elixir of Freedom should complete a step of the journey. So die an item, throw an orb, find somebody to talk to. These are where things start to get a bit tricky. We can just throw an orb right now. We don't need to worry about wasting it, because screw that. What does it do? Oh. So we stole Ben's water skin. He won't be needing it. <laughs> but the tavern still needs a lot of work done. Uh, it's got a rug. No, that's not a rug. That's sand. But this is definitely going to be the premier place to bring back all of our dancers when we get them. I'll have to create some furniture and things once resources aren't such a big issue. Take a look at what I've got at the moment. I have medium armor. Now, I've been reading what you guys say on Reddit. That's reddit.com forward slash r forward slash jogscast. And if you pop a comment into any of the uh, posts about these videos, I'll check those out, read it, and uh, manage to glean from your tips some extra things I can do. One thing's for sure, though. I'm staying one step ahead of the worshippers of Set. So we've repaired as well some of the uh, some of the base destruction that we think happened by a purge, but we don't know yet. Um, I've looked at the server settings, and apparently the purge happens between 6 in the evening and 10 in the evening. So I might have to come back at 6 p.m. to see what happens when things get purgy. So what else have we done? Well, we took the thrall that uh, Ben dragged back. She was a cook. And we put her to work. We've also created uh, two new things. Standing torches. Protected standing torches. These things should light up the night. They look great. And also some wall-mounted torches which we put on the base. And also, there is the cook, hard at work. Well, she's not really hard at work, because there's no cooking to be done. But as soon as there is, she'll get right on that. So what does a thrall do? Well, a thrall, when at a workstation, reduces the amount of... <laughs> reduces the amount of materials required to make, uh, to make things. The better the thrall, the more they'll reduce the cost. And at higher levels, I think they provide uh, unique recipes as well. You can get some super unique NPCs that do a lot more for you than just reduce resource costs. We've also made a grinder over here, which turns bones into bone meal. I guess that's good for growing crops. I'm not sure yet, and it's nothing I want to bother with. We've also got a bed upstairs, because we've decided the top floor of Iron Home is going to be my bedroom. Nice little place. It's got a nice little balcony out here that I can look out upon the... Uh, Oh man, look at that. Oh man, now that is a postcard right there. Take a picture. Take a picture and tweet that shit. That's amazing. Anyway, we're going through steps of the journey. Catch a fish, that's easy to do. Build a well, however, is quite complicated. We need a few more things than we have. And also, we want to upgrade the capacity on our Wheel of Pain. Unfortunately, we need level 30, I believe, to unlock that. But let's see what we've got access to now. A cutlass? That sounds pretty badass. Now here we go, engineer. Siege foundation for building siege equipment. A rotating base for a trebuchet. So holy crap, it's all about the trebuchets. And this is something that I'll set up when I have a base to attack. Right now, though, there's no threat. There's no, nobody comes even close to offering me a challenge. None of these things I really want, but a pleasure dome of Daketo. That'd be a good upgrade. I'm definitely going to need that at some point. Bandages. <gasps> Healing wraps. That sounds pretty good. Let's learn that. An apprentice armorsmith. Kit used to identify and remove superfluous weight from an armor. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I think I'll unlock that too. Apprentice weaponsmith. Bam. Now we're getting somewhere. A rack for drying. We could put that outside with a cook fire. And also I think the fluid press would work quite well outside too. So we'll learn that as well. It looks like a whole bunch of stuff becomes unlocked at level 30. So getting the journey done is super important. Now let's go fishing. So a fish trap, let's do it. What I can do is also I can make a little kind of fishing cottage down here. Now, the best place to catch fish, I believe, you can see 
fish in the water. They kind of have like a pattern. It's getting dark. Oh man, do we deal with these crocs? Let's deal with these crocs. Line them up, stab them through. Sweet. And now let's get some croc hide from these guys. Reptile hide. Whoa. Lots of reptile hide. That stuff's heavy. So I don't actually think there's any requirement for for seeing fish and, and, and putting them near fish. We're going to put a fish trap right about here, actually, where it gets thin as we catch them all coming down. So here we are. This is a map. And if I remember rightly, I went there and I found a carpenter. That This is Iron Home. I found a carpenter there. There is a Yog Priest there, and we did find a cook there. Which means we can find an armorer down here, and a tanner over there. This is great. If we have all these locations locked in, it means we have a reliable way to fill up our house without having to fish for the right dude for the right job by going through multiple camps. It's really useful. Ah! Meanwhile, we have a fish. Savory. The finest. Plant seeds? We need to build a planter, I guess. There's so many, so many steps to the journey, but it really is the best way to level up. You get insane XP from fulfilling these tasks, and also it teaches you about the game. You go through stage by stage, step by step, the progression of the game, and that's a really great thing to do. However, we're going to skip that and find somebody to talk to. Now, this other map, if we take a look, says the Pagoda of Boundless Lusts is over here in the rainforest. So we're going to find this priestess. That's what we're going to do. But not until we've gathered up the armorer for the, our armor bench, a tanner, and a taskmaster. We've already got the carpenter, so we're G2G. This should be it. Oh my god, this guide is amazing. Let's just coax this guy out and kill his friends. Come here, you bastard. Oh, flesh terror falls. Oh, he's shooting. He's starting to shoot. Ow. These guys are really good at back backpedaling. I'm <laughs> not good enough though. Oh my god, I'm riddled. Slice and dice. And why is this guy bugged out? That's weird. Let's, let's hit him in the head. Oh, massive damage. It doesn't actually do more damage. Uh oh. He's found some friends. A Hyborian bearer. There he is, the armorer. And that is armorer three. He is hot shit. Oh man, but he's got too many friends. Way too many friends. I need to whittle these guys down. Okay, let's deal with them one by one. Let's manage the situation. Oh, what are you? What What is a bearer? I feel like I want one, but I don't know why. Ah, let's just deal with this. Easily dispatched. Oh, and I got some fangs from these guys as well. Like those could come in handy. Okay, so I've got the bearer. Let's just take him home. A bearer is a thrall that wears a bearer pack. The bearer pack is a head item that grants five plus encumbrance when worn. She's literally a pack mule. Well, she could come in handy for gathering up a whole load of iron. So maybe. I'll keep her with me, uh, I think. And um, when I go on supply runs, I can take her along and grab up like a whole bunch of stone. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. Well, okay, one down. Let's go and secure armor three. Okay, this is it. This is the spot. I should have brought the shield, because the shield and the club go quite well together. Here he is. Who's this guy? Is this the guy? Is this the man? Is this, this your boy? Come on, man. What are you doing? Armor, armor 3. There we go. There he is. Looking fine. Ooh. Aha, I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of this combat now. Yes! Okay, I broke the truncheon, but I can take this guy home now. Tafari Armor of 3! Oh man, that's quite the find. Level 3 is the best I can get before getting a named, unique armorer. That's quite the result. Quite the result. And I do believe we've completed the Hyborian Bearer. Moving an unconverted thrall will destroy it, but he's not being crafted. Oh, I didn't press go! Oh, damn it! Well, the race is on. Maybe we can get another Wheel of Pain before this guy wakes up. The iron should have cooked by now. I'll deposit all the stuff I don't need. Go to the armorer's bench. And I'm just going to take off all my clothes. And that's it. Another Wheel of Pain to put our armorer into. Now, fingers crossed he hasn't woken up yet. Ho, ho, ho! Lesser Wheel of Pain. Okay. 
quickly before he wakes up. So where can we put this? Next to the other one? Where's, where is a spot? There's got to be a spot. Come on, man. Perfect. And we can put our big wheel of pain up over here on the flat where it's easier to get to. Okay, let's strap this guy in. In you go. Dafari Armor 3. Let's take some gruel. This guy's halfway there. This guy, though, will take a lot longer because he's level 3. But let's start burning the fuel. And there you go. We've got an Armor 3. We've got a, uh, a bearer for carrying loads. We're well on our way. And we've also got a few levels down the journey. And let's just check what our level is right now. We are so very close to the next level. So all we have to do is plant a seed. So if I can do that, I can get to level 30. And then the adventure really begins. So how do we build a planter? It's just sticks and twine. So easy. So the good slash bad news is that my fence here is so big that half these iron deposits don't respawn. So what I'm going to have to do is get rid of some of these fences so they come back. I can bring in the fence line quite a lot. But preserving my iron reserves is going to be quite important, so I should be careful about that. Okay, so here comes the planter. Where are we going to put this? Well, let's have a little garden down here. I like the idea of that. Crude planter. Seeds. Bam! We've completed a step in the journey. And we've reached level 30. So next time is when the real fun begins. Thank you for watching. Join us next time when we go on a crusade to meet the priestess of Daketo in the jungle. Pretty exciting because we're going to have to go through a whole bunch of areas I've never been to. And I can't wait to discover more about this rich Conan Exiles world. Until next time, guys, take care.